This month marks two years since I left Massachusetts to come to Ohio. And people will still ask me if I'm happy to be here, and I am. I like it here. I'm glad to be serving God in this place, in this time, in the present. But that doesn't mean that I don't miss Massachusetts. It doesn't mean that I don't want my past in my present. I want to be in two places at the same time. But it doesn't work that way, does it? We can only be at one place at one time because we experience time as a line from one point to another. And we'd like to think that we have all the time in the world, that time has no end, and that is what we call infinity. But God doesn't exist in infinity. God exists outside of time in what we call eternity, a timeless state. So for God, according to Peter in this passage, one day is like a thousand years. Oh, and a thousand years is like a day. It's not experienced in the same way we experience existence because we live from moment to moment. God is outside of all those moments and inside all those moments. So when we're looking for God's will to be done, we have to wait patiently at times. But does that mean God's will has not yet been done? Or that it will be done at some point in the future? God isn't limited by time. This is why Jesus told us that heaven is now. Heaven is not something we wait for because it exists now. Think about those who died before us, who've gone on to heaven to be accepted home by God. Are they waiting for us? Well, What's waiting when there is no time? We are the ones who are waiting for that to be revealed, for us to see heaven. So in these moments, in the present moment, we have the gift of eternity. If we have eyes to see and ears to hear, we can recognize God breaking in to every moment. What a gift, a gift of peace that we can know here and now.